the producers, executive producers, wanted to do it at CBS. First of all, they wanted it was it was uh, Bob and Peter LaSalle. Peter LaSalle lives on the West Coast, and Bob always wanted to go to West Coast, and they they talking up the idea of going to, first of all, the CBS new buildings in, in, uh, in Hollywood. And Dave asked me and Bob to go out and take a look at them and see what we thought. And Bob came back and said, oh, they're great. It's going to be perfect for you. And, I, and, I, and he asked me what I thought. I said, it'll be like doing a show at a space agency. It was this great big shiny buildings. I said, Dave, the good news is like 40 acres of cars. Yeah. <laughs> and so he says, all right. So I, I dissuaded him from that. And then we started looking in New York. Because I, you know, I didn't want to move to the West Coast. And neither did most of the people on the show. And neither did Dave. I said, people aren't funny on the West Coast. Yeah. And they are funny in New York. And, and so we started looking for a theater. And we looked at the old Hudson Theater where the with the first Tonight Show was Steve started. Yes. Uh, we went to different theaters and none of them had the seating of it or, or it didn't, just didn't appeal. And then we decided to go to the uh, broadcast center, CBS Broadcast Center. And the one big studio there was a, a couple soap operas and they wouldn't give up. And they recommended a, uh, one, of the, one of the studios there. And, uh, they, and without my knowing it, Dave signed on. He just said, okay, let's do it here. And then um, the set director and myself went over and looked at it, started measuring it, and they said, it's no bigger than the studio you're in now. We went to, back to Dave, and I said, um, the Ed Sullivan Theater was great for Ed Sullivan and all those people. Why don't we give it a try? So we went over, and Dave almost walked out with even saying, he says, what a rat-infested, slimy place. How do you expect us to do a show here? I said, if all the slime is removed, it's a great, great venue. It was slimy and rat infested. <laughs> it was, it was, um, first of all, the control room was put in the back of the audience, so it took up like one quarter of the seats. And then off that was a couple ramps up to uh, a staging, extending the, the, the stage out uh, for commercials. And the seating would be maybe one third or one fourth the amount that were originally intended. And the thing about the Ed Sullivan theater is it wasn't all Ed Sullivan it was it was the um, Oscar Hammerstein theater back in the 20s and it was built with the largest proscenium in New York and it was made for musicals uh, unfortunately the the uh, uh, you know depression came along and uh, no one was producing big musicals and it became uh, a nightclub for a while and then CBS took it over and, and did the things like Gary Moore and, and, and I remember going there for the Ed Sullivan show with Gary Moore. Uh, it was pretty damn good, but now it had fallen into this disrepair. Yeah. Uh, dis repair. And, and I still wanted, I thought, gee, this would be a good deal for CBS and the president of CBS at the time. He was with us and he showed us, he showed us the studios and, at the broadcast center and then he came with us to look at the Ed Sullivan Theater again. And while Dave and, 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 uh, and the two producers were just shaking their heads, he said, uh, Hal, I want to talk to you. So we walked out and I said, he said, what do you think about this place? What, do you think he could turn this? And I said, just a minute, let's, let's walk. And then we walked out through the theater onto Broadway. And I said, here's the answer. You're on Broadway. You got activity here. It's, you clean up this place and it's a great theater. What more do you want? And it's for sale. And CBS just, I think, leased it. There was an a, a, a office building attached to it that went with the theater where all this, where, you know, it would, I, to me, it couldn't be better. But I still had a lot of resistance. And then one day, Dave said to me, he said, hey, all right, we get clean it up. He said, do you think it'll look like 1130? And we were on at 1230. It look at like 11:30, and I said, "No, it'll look like eight o'clock," and that's what happened. I was real. I mean, we were number one for the first three years we were there, uh, and everybody agreed that it was a great, great venue for a, for a talk show.